a blockbuster media merger in the works. Comcast striking a $45 billion deal to buy Time Warner Cable. It would combine the two biggest cable companies in the United States. Chief Business Correspondent Christine Romans is here to break it down for us. So what more are we learning about this merger? It's a very big, big merger. And it's so interesting here because this is a combined Comcast Time Warner that would essentially uh, provide television channels and internet connections in roughly one in three homes in America. Now, most of those are in New York, L.A., Philly, and Washington, D.C. Customers may like Comcast's next generation software and the set-top boxes, but they might not, might not like their new cable bill. As we often see, less competition typically means higher prices. And when it comes to cable bills, already customers are paying sky-high prices. I want to show you this chart. According to market research group NPD, cable bills have been increasing at a rate of 6% each year. They're forecast to reach 200 bucks on average a month by the year 2020. Now, pricing and competition are, of course, what regulators will be looking for when they scrutinize this deal. Charter, the other company that have been pursuing Time Warner Cable, appears to be stepping aside now that Comcast has come forward with this $45 billion deal. But certainly, you may end up paying, uh, uh, writing a different check to a different company if you are a Time Warner Cable customer.